today's video, we're going to talk about uh, uh, Crayola swatches obtained to the Crayola art supplies. So, uh, the first swatch is when I'm going to show it to you close to the camera in front of my screen. You will see that there are some awesome colors and some bright. It can be some unique. So, uh, for the Crayola art supply, this is how that uh, it matches whether she uh, made uh, by one and can be posted on her blog. So, I'm gonna show you what's the first swatch from Crayola. The first watch is Crayola Pipsqueak Markers. So these are my favorite kinds of markers of Crayola. So here, there are 64 in total. As you can see, uh, there are uh, some swatch colors that can be sometimes unique uh, right there, or maybe that there, or maybe there. It can be possible to swatch like in a square order when you uh, when she was uh, when she was making a swatch to us even though when she was showing to all of the pigments that she tried to color with that this swatch is obtained to Crayola Pipsqueak markers on to the next swatch so here this is uh there are 120 colors uh total uh, that can be obtained by what she was using crayola 120 crayon colors so these are all the current colors of uh, crayola original crayons from from 2014 uh, as the last a huge sort of amount that's how they manufactured it uh, within and that and so uh, you can definitely see that there could be uh, more over ongoing colors and uh, there are no expansions into this watch just like the last watch that I showed you from before so I uh, you can see that they can be getting bold to you or you know what something that uh, has to be like sort of coloring orders those are called effects which uh, they can offer sort of these two swatches the one and the other one so here you can probably see those two uh, Crayola art supplies and uh, here they can be getting bold or maybe some of them you just want to try to sort and uh, never can be rematched to all of the other colors but there are only just every one in a, uh, a Crayola amount. So let's keep going. So I only have a few more swatches to show to you. This watch is called the Colors of the World. So as you can see, there are 24 uh, colors in total. And you just organize, uh, she organized that all of the skin colors were just been made by using her swatches but as long as always that if we want it uh, i tried to follow down onto her description below and as long as she obtained by using uh, 24 uh, colors from colors of the world skin tones so you can remember that some of them can be multicultural and some of them they can be known. So uh, I already had a swatch before 
like onto my latest video for for some reasons of that but for now i'm gonna show you what's the last watch that i am going to show you this can be the last watch that i am going to show to you for this video here crayola colored pencils so over there there are lots of colors which came a hundred in total except these two colors because just you can remember that when she was uh inventing this uh organized swatch that she made she left some of uh those two spaces uh that doesn't even contain with this uh closer hue uh, to its uh, clo uh closer pigment rather than the other effects so some of the colors uh, may affect that if they can be warm or they can be closer to which is end up by sorting by when all the colors you can remember them that they can be mixed full or they can uh they can offend some of each colors like maybe they c we no longer see some of the other colors for this reason but uh, that does that mean that uh, if they have differences uh, to the uh, Crayola crayon swatch. So I can see that there are different kinds of colors. Plus uh, I can see the some of the colors like from Crayola crayons. They look uh, different. So, so here this is what I have it already. So, like from the YouTube video, I showed that uh, the Crayola has 120 crayons from colored pencils in total. Yeah, you may watch some of the videos, but not in my video, okay? So make sure that uh, when you are making a, a swatch, you can uh, use either documents or maybe a, maybe a spreadsheet that can help. So when you are using documents, if necessary, uh, you must add a table and you can uh, organize the table to make a bigger cell. It's like rather than those different shapes, right? So that means that you can uh, focus on every color that if you can know of it, just to make sure that if you already have those Crayola art supplies that I showed you, like from the uh, obtained stuff of uh, these organized swatches. And that's it for today's video. So make sure you should uh, keep subscribing onto my YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit the bell that uh says all and make sure that you should write down in the comments below about what you guys think are those obtained uh, swatches you rather you can see are better enough to relax while you're using the art supplies that you have already in there and next time maybe if i maybe uh for my next video i'm not sure if i I don't know which one should I do for the video topic. So anyways, I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.